द रेड कारपेट स्पॉट लाइट वॉज ऑन स्पाइडर मैन अक्रॉस द स्पाइडर वर्स इन लॉस एंजलस ऑन ट्यूजडे एज द वेब स्लिंगिंग सीक्वल इज सेट टू हिट थिएटर दिस वीक फॉलोइंग अप टू द सक्सेस ऑफ ऑस्कर विनिंग स्पाइडर मैन इन टू द स्पाइडर वर्स दिस न्यू चैप्टर कमीशन माइल्स मॉरलेस स्पाइडर मैन प्लेड बाई शमिक मोर एंड द क्रियो ऑफ मल्टीवर्स स्पाइडीज इन चार्ज ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिंग द मल्टीवर्स वेरी एग्जिस्टेंस द लॉन्ग अवेटेड सीक्वल सीज मॉरलेस ज्वाइंस फोर्सिस विद गवेन स्टेसी Spider Gwen played by Haley Steinfeld on a mission to protect every universe from Spot the super villain played by Jason Schwartzman Steinfeld says fans can expect a new wave of animation and authenticity in each character You had this feeling walking into it knowing what the filmmakers wanted to accomplish with it and with it being as authentic as possible and um they pulled that off in a way i don't know that i've ever seen before it feels it's just different and it's fresh and it's exciting and um i i just i love that i've had the opportunity not only to to play this character and and dive into her world but see the aftermath and the effect that it's had on people that's uh that's when you know that they they've done something they've done something right The film's stars recognized the challenges brought on by the highly successful first film but Steinfeld has no doubt the second chapter indeed lives up to the task How are we topping this well I won't give you the answer I want to give you which is you just got to see it and you'll know because I didn't think there was an answer to that but when you see this you will understand uh we have first of all the same wickedly talented team of people that worked on that first film plus some new additions as far as cast and and filmmakers uh and yeah i mean just when i thought there was there was no way that could happen it it did more acknowledges his approach to success in the sequel did not change from the first film the formula was straight forward follow the directions of my directors that was it that was my approach let me do my job and do the best i can so hopefully you guys feel like it was a great collaboration <laughs> you know yeah and when asked about his vacation destination within the spider verse it was no surprise what i want a vacation in um maybe gwen spider verse <laughs> According to the Spider-Verse welcomes a star-studded cast from the first film but also introduces new faces like Issa Rae who has been a long-time Spider-Man fan but is ecstatic at the opportunity to play Spider-Woman Jessica Drew. It's just a good story and it's a good movie and the fact that it also reflects people that you see every day being superheroes you know that it's internationally reflected that you know they have the characters speaking spanish with no subtitles and i just love the authenticity of that and the filmmakers are really intentional about making sure that you know it is representative that it's authentic like even here daniel kaluya was talking about like the different parts of the uk and london that he brought to spider punk and making sure that there was a specificity there and the different types of accents he used and i think everybody brings something like that to the table in this movie Oscar nominated actor Brian Terry Henry who plays Miles Morales's father says this new chapter stays true to the film's authenticity and inspired him to bring his best to the father role So I think it's really important that people feel included and people feel seen because you know it it really inspired me to do what I do because I also wanted to bring that kind of authenticity and that kind of reflection so other people like me to sit there and be like oh man yeah like there's there's a young kid that I actually met not too long ago who literally just looked at me and was like Spider-Man has my hair like look he has my hair I'm like yeah like absolutely he does like why couldn't he and I think what's great about Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse is that There's a Spider-Man for anyone because heroes look like every sort of kind of person from every background. It doesn't matter. Um it's about the heart. So I think the Spider-Man brings that. Uh, you can expect to be blown away because I actually thought how are you going to top that? And they do. It's very epic and very human. Do you know and I think the the messaging of this film is so important especially now. We need this. We need love. We need this kind of light and we need this kind of 
strength, and I think the film gives us all of that. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse opens in theaters June 2.